So lads, today we have for episode 2 of the Newcastle United career mode. I want to say a big, big thank you to everyone who watched the first episode. It's got really good views, some really good feedback on it, and I'm really, really happy. And I can't wait to continue the series. It is Sunday now, and we're going to be smashing through the career mode. So, if you didn't watch last episode, we played our first two games of the season, and um, won both of them. But now we've got Tottenham, and Tottenham are actually third in the league, I think. I think they're sitting... Just behind us in the league table, as you can see here, both have won um, their first two games. In this episode now, um, I'm going to make one more transfer, I think, to the team. If we have a look at the squad now um, from that's been playing, this is the team that's just played against Bournemouth. I think that is the strongest team. I haven't made any changes. That is the, probably the best team I can get. So, I'm probably looking at a team, right? Lewis Hall's good, but I do want to get a left back. I, I do. So, we'll quickly go into the transfer hub. Um... And I'm looking between Leif Davis and Kevin Turney. I think Kevin Turney's a bit of a realistic signing. He is um, out of favour. Probably to Arsenal, but on loan to Real Sociedad last season. Leif Davis has so he's already stated in, in interviews that he wants to play at New, play for Newcastle. He's already dreamt of playing at St James's Park, and he can't wait for this season. I couldn't make that reality. I think as well, it, it's a nice little touch. He's played football with some of my pals. I think for Wolves and. Um, Boys or something, I think he, he he's played with some of my pals. So I think I'm going to go for Leif Davis. His contract does come out. Um, it's expiring at the end of the season as well. I think he could be a good addition. Still young as well. He probably is a better rating than... Um, obviously, but he's a better rating than um, Lewis Hall. We're going to go for that transfer now before we go into the game versus um, Tottenham. So I think £10 million would be fair. Obviously, I think this will be the last sign. <clears throat> I want to try and keep some of the transfer budget for January, just in case we need to make a transfer. Straight away, again, straight through. Happy days. We'll go straight to the contract stuff. I think he will become an, an important player for Newcastle. Obviously, our left-back situation now, we've got... If we sign Leif Davis, we've got Lewis Hall, Lloyd Kelly, and then Dan Burke can't even play left-back corner of the game. Um, so, we'll just go for that. Important. Happy days. Three-year contract. I'm fine with that. Um, no, we'll just accept that. Happy days. Leif Davis is in the squad for Newcastle United. I've seen someone commented that on as well, on the um, on the comment section on, on the last video. So, thank you for the recommendation. Leif Davis, I think it's a good transfer. Obviously, he's a jolly boy from up here. Bad, no, no, no what do you mean? But I could have got that. Shut up, man. Right, let's go to the squad. Um... More than likely, we're going to drop Lewis Hall at the bench just for this game. We're going to test out Leif Davis. Um, we're going to have to take Ivar away with someone off the bench. It's going to have to be Dan Byrne, unfortunately. And be Fabian Shaw, Trippier. You know, Dan Byrne's been quite good this season for the two. And that's probably going to be the, the team that goes into the game versus Tottenham. So, if anything mad happens, if not, we'll go straight to the game versus Tottenham. As well, boys. Fenerbahce's came in for Jamal Lasseld, and you know what? It's a shame because he is the club captain, still, even though Bruno's like the team captain. I'm going to accept it and see if that does happen. Definitely not going to sell Wilson for that for a player. We'll see what happens there with the Jamal Lasseld's deal. I think it'd be good to get him off the wage books and all. And there we go. Jamal Lasseld is out the building, club captain. It's a shame, but it is probably for the best. We've got a lot of cover in centre half. We've got Dan Byrne, Shaw, um, Botman, and Mark Gay. So I think that is fine with me. It's an excellent deal, apparently. So I'm going to negotiate for this Lewis Miley deal as well. I think if we can. I don't want to propose loan without a buy option. Yes, that's what I want. Just a loan. That'll do me. If we can get a one year loan out of Lewis Miley, it will. Count on that, I'm not paying more of his wages. He's playing for your fucking club. 50 50 wages. If Lewis Miley, Lewis Miley does go out on loan, I think that'll be good. I can't really say getting into the Newcastle team this season. Um, I think it'll be a good little little move for him. Um, hopefully, he can develop, get his um, rating up for the future. And there's Lewis Miley going out on loan to Sport and Lisbon. Champions League football again for for him. Um, I don't know if he will play much. Hopefully, he does. Um, and hopefully, he can. Cover well, obviously we've got a lot of, of squad depth, so I, I don't think that's uh, really a problem. Brentford coming in for my target. I think that's another player who we could probably try and get out the door. We'll probably sell him for a little bit more than four million. 
if we can um, propose a new transfer for you. If we can get six million forward stop set that five million five million will do me obviously left back situation as i mentioned before we've just signed leaf davis so we don't really need um matt target and he's obviously not really going to play for this season there's another one out the door matt target goes to brentford he was never really going to play for newcastle this season and um, five million pounds obviously we've just signed leaf davis so i think it is a a good transfer apparently a i think it's a b so we're here for the first game of the episode same team as last time probably leaf davis is running for Lewis Hall at home against St. James. Uh, first game of the episode, third game of the season, Tottenham Hotspur at home. This finished 2 1 to Newcastle. That's the team we're going to go for. The exact same team, Bob and Leaf Davis, has went in at left back. I'm quite happy with it. Hopefully, the lads can, can, can treat as well. Obviously, both teams are unbeaten. Both teams have won every game. Let's see what we can do. Team was on a bit of a runner. See, so Brian and Memo. Is it onside? Is it onside? Yes! It's 1-0! One 1-0 nil. One nil to Newcastle! I'll tell you what, one thing I've done as well, boys, I've put like, the effects on for the game, for like the weather. Obviously it's raining, and it's actually affected the game, like the gameplay. Alexander Riesler gets his fifth goal of the season. I thought he was offside, to be fair, it was brilliant play. He must just just been on. Like, that was a beautiful pass. 1-0 against Tottenham. Team of winners going to get a card. Happy days, get in! One thing as well, boys, before this Tottenham game in real life, we played our cup game, but now it's been announced. I don't know if we get put in the next round of the cup. I don't I don't know how it actually works. Because, obviously, we played Nottingham Forest in real life, but I would have thought we had a cup game, but it turns out we didn't. Oh, my God, we're through. Oh, my God. He's at 2-0 like that. Oh, my, I think I might have to change this to legendary. Because this is getting too easy. Explaining stuff there. And then we make it 2-0. Wow. I think we might have to change this to legendary because this seems way too easy. Shit. Oh, they've scored. 2-1. Ever since I've said it's too easy, the fucking got straight back into the game. They've done really well. Fuck say 2-1. He's like for his hat trick. He does have it in the first half. Alexander Rizak. He is too good. Wow. Hat trick in the first game. He scored two for seven goals for the lack and count. Get him, man. Half time. Really good half. He's like hat trick in the first half. Um, I think we've done quite well. To be fair, since I've it's got a bit harder, we've literally had three shots and scored them all. Whereas Tottenham had a couple of really good chances, so it just shows when you've got a clinical strike of what, what it literally does. Human son. Oh, he's scored another. Fuck's sake, it's 3 2. Like I say, this has been a lot tougher. We've just had three chances and scored them. Scored loads of corners in the last episode. Oh, well, it's scored another. Got him there. Get in! That's gonna be it. It's 4 2. Who scored it? Is it Harvey Bond with his first touch of the game? Get in, man. Corners have been OP on FIFA. Like, really, really good. Like, we scored loads of inside one. Then I think we got my goal. Like, was just score with the corner. Joe Linton's, I mean, Vigoro should do better. Harvey Barnes' first touch of the game ends in a goal. 4-2. Get him, man. Harvey Barnes. Done really well there. Harvey Barnes. Oh, what a goal. What a finish that is by Harvey Barnes. 5-2. Bloody hell, that was brilliant by Harvey Barnes. I think I actually might start him in the next game. Because he's done brilliantly. Scored two goals in this game. That, that step over absolutely sent Van der Ven. And he sticks it, pulls it in. Get him, man. That's got to be game set done now. 5 2. Oh, Son scored a hat trick. But it's too late now. 5 3. Luckily, we got them goals to Harvey Barnes. Oh, that would have been an absolute heartbreak. But eight goals in that game. It was a lot harder, but we just took our. Uh, Took our chances there. Alexander Rees out with three. Obviously, he scored. Son scored a hat as well. That should still keep us top of the league. Or there or thereabouts. Um, happy days there. So, I've just checked there. And we've got... We must have just started the cup game in the third round rather than the second round. So, we've got Everton at home in the cup. 
So we'll probably play the Wolves game and we'll play the Cup game and then we'll leave it at Fulham. Obviously, we all know what happened. I've gone on to the day after Fulham and enough said. Oh, God. Um, so we've got a game against Wolves coming up now. Obviously, it's in international breaks. So all the lads will get a good little rest. Obviously, some players will go on international duty. Hopefully, we don't get any injuries and we'll go to the game versus Wolves. So then we're going to go to the Wolves game. Now, the only change that I've made, I'm going to bring Harvey Barnes and his ratings already went up. I just feel like Gordon hasn't really done much. I don't think he actually has done anything in the team yet. So I think that's the only change we're going to make going into the game versus the Wolves. We're here now. They're sitting 17 from the league. So hopefully we can um, play them off the park. But Molyneux is a tough place to go. So let's have it. So we get our Wolves away. First time using the away kit. Let's have it, the boys. He's like sending them. And Bemo straight away. Oh, it's a brilliant save, that. Linton again off the corner. Fucking man. Oh no, what a save Nick Pope, Wolves have been absolutely all over in this game, I've had that one chance at the very start and we've done nothing since then, they've been absolutely all over here like, and the throw again, like they just kind of finished the dinner, bloody hell it's been an intense first half this like, half time, nil nil, every game this season seems like they've had gold in them, this game, the far opposite, still nil nil. Joe Linton. And then Bebo, who's free? Oh my god, he's put a straight back to him. I pressed shoot, I swear down. Rebound. Oh my god, man. We're just, we're, we're kind of dead. Gordon. Oh, it's a brilliant save. There's just not going to be a goal in this game, is there? Anthony Gordon. This is this. It is! Get in! 82nd minute. Anthony Gordon makes it 1 0. Oh my god, the stress. They've gone in that. Oh my god. The stress. Finally, we've scored a goal in this game. Anthony Gordon. Little, little run there. Samira should be tight about with. Put it in the top corner. Anthony Gordon. Finally, now we've got to hold on. Get in. Get in. We've done it. Just in the end. 1 0 win. Really tough game that late. Like, that was the hardest game so far in the career mode. Probably didn't deserve to win if we haven't seen the match starts. They like, say Wolves were right in it. A draw is probably a fair result, but 1 0 win, 4 wins out of 4, and we'll play the Cup game versus Everton in the next game. So we are here, a Cup game versus Everton, and I've actually changed the team on a lot. I've made like a second team. Oh, I don't want to be using that team, I want to be using that team there. We're going to try a 4 4 2, um, something different. We're going to go two up top, obviously, Wilson and Asula. We're going to give Asula his debut. Midfield, Willock and Longstaff haven't really played. Murphy will start. I've started Gordon just because I started Bond in the last game. Hall, Dan Byrne, Shaw, Trippiat will keep Nick Pope in goal. I'm quite happy with that team. We'll go into the first game of the Carabao Cup season against Everton. one nil Everton. And Dye scores. Fuck's sake, man. Literally just ran past with defence. Obviously, Shaw and Burn and, and in real life are good, but on FIFA are extremely slow. And he puts in the back of the net. Fuck. William Asula. Is he going to get his first goal for the two? And he does! Soon as they score, we score. William Asula. That's a brilliant finish with his left foot. Obviously, only being 67 rated as well. Brilliant goal, that. Look at that. Just Tauzowski. Fuck off, mate. Look at that little dink. Love it. Get in. Oh, William Masula's won it. Oh, rebound. Get in. 2-1. Like Lay that. Callum Wilson. Get in, man. Get his first goal of the season. Not injured. Actually scoring goals. 2-0. Callum Wilson. Hey, 2-1, sorry. Asula does really well. Probably should have scored, but... I'm not going to complain about a rebound goal. Two two, bloody hell! This game's only twenty four minutes in. Who the fuck's that, Roger? Who the fuck's that? Is that a young soul? Is that someone that was signed? Fuck now, two two man, bloody hell! Half time, two two, quite entertaining game. Um, since they scored the setting, now we now it's really happened, but. We need a bounce back. Obviously, we've got good players on the bench to bring on, so if we need to, we might have to. Two 
Oh, what a goal! William Asula with a power shot. 3-2. He's, he's probably been our best player today. He's been fucking lethal. William Asula with a power shot. Look at this for a little animation. Bosh, look at that. Right in the fucking way. Top, really top corner there, but no keep us safe on that. Especially that little arms. Get in! Brilliant by Asula. Jacob Murphy now. Anthony Gordon, oh, he's hit the bar against his former team. Oh, man, Foxy. We're actually going to make some changes just so the lads don't get tired. Bastard. It's got to be time, ref. Get in. We're through to the next round of the cup. Thank God for that. I got a bit scared after we went 1-0 down. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher, but I think William Asula performed massively. And we've won. We've won every game so far, but we're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. So lads, that's going to be the end of episode 2 of the career mode. Deadline day done. We're through with the next round of the cup and we are top of the league in the Premier League. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one.